I'll be honest with you, I never liked compact smartphones, not until I got the Xiaomi 14 here. I absolutely love this device and in today's video I'm gonna be sharing my experiences with it, its pluses and also its minuses. But anyway, in this video we're gonna be taking a look at everything that this phone has to offer and stay tuned if you want to know how you can win yourself this phone and another item that I will reveal later on in this video. Let's get started, shall we? Since I held this phone for the first time I realized that it was actually kind of weighty. Even though it's small it has a little bit of weight to it which adds into the premium feel of this device and also it has this nice aluminum frame as well as this gorgeous glass back which fortunately is not a fingerprint magnet like you would expect. It attracts a few fingerprints but it's barely noticeable and it's a really big shame that this phone comes with this ugly casing here. I, I don't know why they didn't go with a transparent one. I know that it's kind of like the new style Xiaomi but I still would prefer if the phone had like a transparent case because this glass back is actually gorgeous and I'm absolutely loving it. What I like the best about the Xiaomi 14 is probably its rounded edges and how comfortably it sits in your hand, especially with this camera bump that uh, it just helps keep it in place in your hand with or without the case of course. So overall the design of this phone is great but I really don't like how they've written here like uh, right on top of the camera bump. This kind of ruins the feeling of uh, simplicity when it comes to the phone's design but that's just my opinion, you might like it. I personally don't. And when it comes to the durability of this device, we have a Gorilla Glass Victus on the front and this phone is also IP68 certified, so no worries, you can drop it in the water. And speaking about this display, the Xiaomi 14 sports a 6.36 LTPO AMOLED display with a maximum refresh rate of 120Hz and because it's LTPO technology, that means it can also go back to 1Hz to save you that precious battery, which by the way is not so big since this is a compact smartphone, but more on that later. And when it comes to the viewing experience, you can expect nothing else but the best from Xiaomi and even though this screen is more comparable to some mid-rangers like the Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus or the Poco X6 Pro, you can expect to have a great viewing experience and I've actually binged watched some Netflix on this phone and I've had some great experience with this so definitely recommend it. And probably the best thing about this display would be its maximum brightness, like the peak brightness is 3000 nits which is absolutely mind-blowing, I don't know why all the companies keep on competing with each other about the maximum brightness of a screen but in any case this screen's brightness is amazing especially in the long summer days outside when it's sunny so definitely no issues when it comes to that. Oh and in case you're wondering about the speakers we have a dual speaker setup one on the bottom and one on the earpiece and here is a sample so you can hear how this sounds. Now, before we continue, I would like to quickly mention the sponsor of this video, Fast Comet. Now, Fast Comet is a hosting company that you can use to create your own websites from blogs to shops to literally any type of project that you might have, and I know that because I'm using them myself. They offer an amazing 24-7 customer and technical support that you can rely on. They are cheaper than most bigger hosting companies out there like GoDaddy, SiteGround and Bluehost. So make sure to give them a try from the link in my description below and that way you can also support me as a creator. Now let's get back into the video. And when it comes to the software we have the Hyper Always slapped on top of Android 14 as usual from Xiaomi. And uh, I have the Chinese firmware here on the Xiaomi 14 because I bought this phone from Trading Shenzhen. And if you don't know, Trading Shenzhen is actually a great website where you can find phones like the Xiaomi 14 here and other Chinese brands on absolutely the best, cheapest prices. So I urge you to check it out from the link in my description. It's definitely an amazing site and I've been buying my phones from there primarily. So you might be wondering what's the difference between the Chinese version and the global version. Well, actually not that much. The Chinese version actually has a few more features compared to the global one for some reason and that would be like custom icons, phones, downloadable, always on displays and a bunch of other features like a virtual AI assistant for example. That being said, if you buy this phone from the trading Shenzhen site that I mentioned before, they can flash the, the global ROM version for you or you can also do it yourself if you want. But in any case, this phone is perfectly usable with, with both of these versions and with that being said, we can move on to the performance. Speaking about the performance, we have a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 stuffed inside of this device and that only means the best performance that you can possibly get on a smartphone and these benchmarks only prove it. 
When it comes to gaming, Genshin Impact runs buttery smooth on this device, always 60 frames per second, with or without the gaming mode that Xiaomi usually offers. And I'm a big fan of the gaming mode on the Xiaomi devices because it actually boosts your FPS, but you don't you don't actually need it when it comes to this device because it just runs everything so fine. Even games like PUBG, Call of Duty, or anything that you manage to throw at this phone would run just perfectly great and there is gonna be a little bit of heating going on after a while that you're playing but that's only to be expected because this phone is kind of compact and you can expect that the heat distribution would not be the best and that doesn't apply only to gaming but also to charging and since we're on the topic this phone comes with a massive 90 watts charger inside of the box and it also supports 50 watts of wireless charging and with a 90 watts charger you can be sure that you can have it up 0 to 100 percent in about 15 to 20 minutes which is absolutely amazing and if you don't want to destroy your battery completely you can also slow down the charging speed from the settings in the phone so that's pretty convenient but when it comes to the battery itself we have a 4000 610 milliamp hours of battery that can last you more or less a day or a day and a half depending on your usage. And before we proceed with the camera test, I would like to quickly mention how you can participate in today's giveaway. Now I'm giving away two things, the Xiaomi 14 and as a runner-up this amazing 60% mechanical keyboard. Now to participate in this giveaway all you have to do is like this video, subscribe to my channel and comment down below on which one of these two items would you like to get. And just to give you some more information about this amazing keyboard here, it's a mechanical keyboard, it's super light, lightweight and this is a perfect keyboard for anyone who is traveling and wants something lightweight to carry or if you're working from an office and you don't want to use their crappy keyboard, so whatever. But anyway, let's proceed with this video. So what do you get when it comes to the camera system? Well, Xiaomi here didn't cut any corners and you get a triple 50 megapixel cameras, a white, an ultra wide and a telephoto one. And so I decided to go to a special lake which is really beautiful around here to test this camera system and honestly 90% of the time I end up with an amazing great shot from this device no matter which camera uh, lens I'm using. And even in some lower light conditions this phone performs super well and when it comes to the zoom of this device with the telephoto lens you get a 3.2 times optical zoom and up to 60 times of digital zoom. In my opinion, don't go beyond anything beyond 30 times because it's not really usable, but up to 30 times zoom, this phone can produce some really nice and sharp photos and definitely pretty usable depending on what you want to do. Now guys, when it comes to video quality, you probably are not going to get a better quality out of any other phone. The Xiaomi 14 just obliterates probably any other phone on the market right now in this price category of around $750. And as you can see from these samples, you end up with a well-stabilized, crystal clear footage of 4K, 30 or 60 FPS. Most of the times, you're probably gonna be really happy with the result. There is also the option of shooting in Dolby Vision HDR, but in my opinion, it kind of messes up everything, especially if you don't have an HDR screen to look at it, besides the one on your phone. And uh, I avoid using it also because it messes up with my editing later, so I didn't include any footage, but yes, this phone can record in HDR10 plus Dolby Vision. Oh, and fun fact about this channel, I'm actually using only smartphones to record every single one of my videos. And if you go back one or two videos before this one, you can see some samples of the Xiaomi 14 here, because these videos were recorded on this phone. And when it comes to front facing video we have a 4K 30 or 60 FPS here to choose from which is honestly pretty amazing. Alright alright every phone is very good when it comes to good lighting but how about when it comes to low light scenarios. As you can see here from these photos and videos the Xiaomi 14 holds its ground pretty well and even though you might not get exactly the same quality as for example the Xiaomi 14 Ultra or the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra or similarly priced phones I don't believe that the difference is much bigger and in my opinion you should just save yourself the 500 bucks and just go with the regular Xiaomi 14. I believe that you're gonna be pretty happy with it, especially since all of these phones share the same CPU so you're basically getting the same performance, the same processing when it comes to photos and it's just an overall better deal. So guys, looking at this footage, do you think that the Xiaomi 14 is one of the best camera systems or do you know some other phone similarly priced that can actually beat it? I'm really curious, so let me know down in the comments. So there you have it guys, the Xiaomi 14. Tell me what do you think about this device down in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel in order to win yourself one of these. And uh, if you still think that this is a little bit too expensive, even though it offers great value, you can check out these two smartphones right here. They are a little bit more budget oriented. And with that being said, have a wonderful day from me and I'll talk to you in the next one.